one of the biggest Tesla bulls, Morgan Stanley's analyst Adam Jonas, has cut his rating from a buy to an equal weight. Why and what does it mean? So Morgan Stanley analyst Adam Jonas has a $305 target on Tesla. Tesla stock exceeded that this week. Jonas cut his target, cut his rating rather, saying, hey, it's past my target. Few other concerns here and there. But it is a good time to step back and ask, really, what are you buying when you buy Tesla stock? And how can you come to a pinpoint price target on a stock like this anyway? Elon Musk, for his part, on the last conference call, sort of backed up something he said previously, which is that Tesla could one day be a $700 billion company. In case you're counting, that would make a $4,000 stock. So that's Elon Musk's unofficial price target on Tesla. But what is Wall Street saying? Well, let's take a closer look at, at Adam Jonas in particular. would suggest having read his research. What you are really buying right now, if you buy Tesla, is a call option on Elon Musk. <laughs> There is so much to come on this story. Almost all of the value on the stock is based on stuff that has to happen many years forward from now. Let's take a deeper look at that. One thing that's interesting is if you look at Tesla now relative to Ford, GM, and other car makers, you see just how tiny it is relative to some of these companies. They all have about $50 billion market caps, but we see Ford selling 7 million cars last year, GM selling 10 million, Tesla, Tesla sold 76,000, tiny. Everyone says, okay, but Tesla's gonna take over. Ford and GM have all these pension liabilities, huge bloated cost structure. Tesla's the car company of the future. They're gonna take over. Well, again, worth bearing in mind, you have to go way into the future to get to the value we're at now. And when you dig into Adam Jonas's research, it's very interesting, his price targets, he lays out very clearly three scenarios for what happens going forward. His base case going forward, which gets him to his $305 target, here are the, some of the assumptions that he is looking at. First, he has to go out 15 years and come up with assumptions as to what the business is gonna look like. 15 years out, in 2030, he is saying that Tesla will be a $100 billion revenue company, selling 1.2 million cars a year. He says discounting the value of that back to today gets you a value for Tesla's car business of about $233 a share. Very precise. Um, and he is saying $72 of the current share price is actually attributable to a business that Tesla hasn't even gotten into yet, the mobility business. And the idea around that is you're going to have an app on your phone, you're going to be able to call it up like Uber, press a button, and a Tesla is going to appear without a driver and take you wherever you want to go. Sounds quite a bit in the future, but he is projecting that this will start next year in 2018, and maybe the holdover will be you'll get a driver at first, and then eventually it'll be a driverless car. But point is that $72 of that $305 target is attributable to that. So gives you lots of assumptions on the future. But Adam Jonas also says, hey, there is also a bull case that is better than that, and a bear case that's worse. The bull case, what he says is, look, let's be a little bit, let's say you need a little bit less return. You only need an 11% return going out into the future to justify owning Tesla. That gives you a bigger number out there when you, when you do all the math backwards. Um, and maybe some of the other businesses that Tesla is in, like the solar business, are going to amount to a little bit more value. It doesn't have any value in the, in the, bear, in the base case. So, so that's a bullish target. It gets you to 511 you say, well, that sounds great, but what about the downside? Well, the bear case, and his bear case is not that Tesla goes bankrupt or anything horrible like that, but merely that Tesla is just a, a good, high-end, small car company, like Porsche, for example. Porsche is worth $8 billion. What does that get you in terms of a target for Tesla? $50 a share. That is Hardly a disastrous scenario, and it shows you again what the huge range is here. So what are you really buying if you are buying Tesla? And in talking to people about this this week, some of the optimists have some incredibly precise long-term numbers around how many cars they're going to sell and how much they're going to make per car and all that stuff. But what are you really buying? You are buying a call option on Elon Musk and his ability to continue to do amazing things going forward. And you are buying a tremendously successful car business, a future business that doesn't exist yet that is still worth today, before it even exists, tens of billions of dollars, and many other businesses that Tesla is going to go into in the future. If all that works, you get something around 300. If a little bit more works, 500. If Tesla is just a great small car company like Porsche, hey, downside from 300 to 50. So pick your future and then make your buying decision.